Are you a fan of British mysteries, the British countryside, pretty little English villages and cottages? Me too. I'm also a fan of the TV programs, everything from Agatha Christie to Agatha Raisin, Midsummer Murders and Father Brown and Sister Boniface, all the way to Vicar of Dibley and Escape to the Country. So if you're familiar with all that, you'll know why I was positively chuffed to get to do two things I had only seen on the telly and never imagined I would get to do my very own self. So come along with me as I share with you these two unexpected and unplanned adventures that I'm calling an Anglophile's dream come true. The first adventure happened when we were touring around some very tiny Cotswold villages. One of our favorite things to do, of course. Ian drove us to a place I'd never even heard of called Duntisbourne Abbots. It was absolutely charming. A glorious wee village with a handful of houses and a lovely old church in the middle. As always, we approached the church to see if the door was open and we could have a peek inside. Thankfully, it was open and one of the church wardens was there. He was exceptionally friendly and took us around the church and talked about the building and their congregation. I looked over at the church bells and commented to Ian that on my bucket list was to one day have a go at ringing church bells in a village church somewhere. And much to my shock, our friendly church warden offered me the opportunity right then and there. Let's <laughs> get it moving. Uh huh. I got set swinging. Uh huh. And then you're going to stop it. You see, that's all you do. Nice. Just check it. What does check it mean? What? Well, you imagine it's swinging, you're right? Lovely. Oh, thank you so much. That well, was really fun. That was really fun. And, and next time you come, maybe to one of our services, you can have a go at all. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest, my bell ringing was totally rubbish, but it was so fun. I felt it such a privilege that I was allowed to try. I must mention as an epilogue to the experience that after the random erratic bell ringing, the vicar came running over and popped his head in the door of the church to see what was going on. The last time there was random unexpected bell ringing like that, it was because someone had been accidentally locked inside the church. Whilst we were taking our British friends Luke and Kay around the Cotswolds one Saturday, we showed them one of our favorite villages, which is Broadway. Be sure to check out my video of beautiful Broadway if you haven't seen that one yet. It's the perfect thing to watch before you visit. As we were leaving Broadway, we saw a sign advertising a village fate in the nearby village of Snowsill. In my mind, this village is famous for two things. One is the amazing lavender fields, which I also filmed a video about and highly recommend. The other claim to fame for Snowsill is that it was a filming location for Bridget Jones' diary, specifically the church. For that and many other reasons, the church is iconic and very familiar to Anglophiles around the world. I pled with Ian to make an unscheduled stop in Snows Hill to check out the village fate. And because he is world's best husband, he agreed to take us there. For those of you who haven't watched hundreds of British mystery shows on the telly like I have, let me inform you about something. Village fates are fairs that happen once a year in small villages around England. And for some reason, these fates are often the setting of mysterious murders in British detective novels. So it's a bit of a joke amongst Anglophiles that if you visit a fate, you are putting your life at risk. We are here in the village of Snows Hill to go to the village fate. We are taking our lives in our hands because we all know that if you go to a village fate, there will be a murder. <laughs> so who will be the victim? Will it be me, the loud, brash American tourist? Or will it be Ian? The handsome, dashing British man come back to find his roots. Do you feel? Do you feel lucky today, Ian? Are you going to be murdered? 
I always feel pretty unlucky. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm a pessimist at heart. Or will it be our Surrey lass? <laughs> Kay, how about you, Kay? Do you feel like you might get murdered today? Definitely not. Okay, you not feel me. safe. What, what, what are you looking forward to at the fate? Some scones. Okay. And then here's Luke, our cockney lad. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta bust out your best cockney accent for this. Oh, dear. All right. So Luke has come from the big city to the fate. <laughs> well, what are you looking forward to doing it at the fate? I want to find some pie mash and liquor. That's what I'm going to find. <laughs> With some jelly deals. You'll be laughing. Uh, yeah. I I'm not sure that's going to happen. Right? <laughs> I think Luke is probably the one who's going to get murdered. I'll figure I'm going to get murdered. <laughs> it's a proper country fate because there's even cow patties that we have to walk through to get there. We're walking down the little village lane into the center of the village to find the fate. And to find out our fate. Before visiting the festivities at the Fate, we stopped to look around the famous church of St. Barnabas in Snows Hill. It is a rather small church, but so lovely. High ceilings with beautiful beams, and some very pretty stained glass windows. Let me show you the tower. I love this font in front of the bell tower with the bell and the beautiful window. These windows of the woman at the well and Mary and Martha are some of my favorites I've seen. I also liked these lovely windows of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Here from the churchyard, I spied this rose cottage. It is so perfectly named because of the roses growing. Honestly, every little bit of this village is just so picturesque and beautiful. I wanted to just film and snap photos of every inch of it. But we have a fate to get to, so let's move on to that. Although I know you want to know if I found any magenta flowers. Why, yes I did. Thanks for asking. Do you think there is a more pretty setting for a village fate than this? Just magnificent. First thing in the fate are a couple sheep and a barking dog. I absolutely love that there is a raffle for guessing the birth date of the lamb. Makes me think of all creatures great and small, even though I know that's in Yorkshire and I'm currently in Gloucestershire. Next up is a fun local band playing music for the fate. I'll play you a few seconds of their performance. You can get the feel of the vintage vibe they created for the fair. Now, what's this? Is it lawn bowling? Such fun. And here's the used book sale. And here is the village hall where all the cakes were being served, as well as the strawberry jam scones. We arrived late in the day, but there were still several delicious cakes and other baked goods on offer. It was a difficult choice. I thought these bunny biscuits were especially darling. Ian and I shared a slice of the carrot cake with cream cheese frosting. It was fabulous. And I had to snap this utterly perfect photo of it in this glorious setting. Too bad I don't do Instagram anymore. It will have to be immortalized on YouTube for posterity. Okay, this sounds like a fun thing to do sometime. Go to the cinema in the town hall and see a film. Now for a few other sights from the fate. Pim's stall and the jumble sale. If you've been to a village fate, how similar or different is this one to what you've seen? Please take a moment to tap that like button and consider subscribing if you aren't already a member of the Magenta Otter tribe. You would be most welcome. I'm very happy to report that we have all survived the fate. None of us were murdered and in fact, as far as we know, no one else was either, but 
Day is Still Young. Let's ask everyone what they thought of the fate and what their favorite thing was. Ian, what was your favorite thing? The carrot cake that I got. It was absolutely delicious. Carrot cake with cream cheese frosting. Yes. In the village hall. Okay, yes. very good. How about you, Luke? I like the local band. The local band was pretty good. They were, they were playing like what, 1940s tunes yeah, or something? Yeah, 1940s, yeah. I liked it. It was, it was old. Big old music, band. But it was good. Yeah, really good. Okay, and Kay, what was your favourite bit? I did like the banana cake I had, but I also liked the church where Bridget Jones was filmed. My favourite bit was the church and then the crazy little things I'd never seen before because I haven't been to a village fete, like guessing the birth date of lambs and uh, the jumble sale, <laughs> even though I didn't buy anything. It was just sweet seeing all the things that they were doing. And it really looked like a fun event in the village and the cakes being sold in the village hall. So I did really enjoy that carrot cake as well. You can check out my video of the beautiful village Broadway here. And to see my entire playlist of all the wonderful places in the Cotswolds, click here. Thanks so much for watching and do something good in the world today.